Now, there's a lot of you out there that um, are really thirsty for that information for how to improve your private land. But there's a lot of you out there that want to improve your public land hunt. And we have the resources to help you. And I want to go through, you know, how to design small properties. That's what kind of really uh, launched my career is, is really talking about this, uh, speaking at Habitat events um, around the Midwest, the north half of uh, Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, but that north half of the country. And, uh, and really getting on those hunting forums going back to 2000, uh, speaking personally on my own dime and helping people understand this because I had done it for a long time on my own and figured out a level of success that was consistent and could be applied. And that level of consistent success applies to private or public land. So all these concepts apply to public land. It's interesting. I'll talk about books here in a second. My first book came out in 2012. It was How to Design Your Property, White Tail Success by Design. And People looked as a private land book. In the intro, I talk about a big buck coming in. I talk about depth of cover, paralleling habitat features, lines of movement. Talk about getting in and hunting that, paralleling you know, perpendicular access, giving these areas of sanctuary. Talked about all of that with that buck and that intro and him coming. In the conclusion, I talk about shooting that buck and, uh, and how this all came together. And you know what? That was a public land hunt in the UP of Michigan. But all these concepts apply. And that's, I use that public land hunt to, to try to illustrate these concepts. It doesn't matter where a whitetail rooms, they work. And I believe it in it so much. I built my career on this and multifaceted uh, business and, and uh, company. And uh, I really love this stuff. It's a passion of mine or I wouldn't be doing this. You can't fake it. You can't go to school for it and just learn it and then go out and do it. Um, you have to actually live it and experience it. And, uh, and you can only do so by loving it. And, uh, and hunting on lots of public land, private land, all do it yourself so you can actually learn. And, and first off, what I want to point out is if you want to improve your small parcel on this channel, we have currently about, we're getting closer to 1,100 videos. I'm not sure what the amount is for sure, 1,050. Maybe Dylan knows. I don't know what the exact amount is. And then uh, we put out 280 years. So by the end of this month, we'll be, or the end of this year, um, 2023 any, anyways, we'll be closer to that. 1200 1300 somewhere on their videos um and they're all free and a lot of you don't realize they have a website whitetailhabitatsolutions.com people will say what's your website called well it's the same as the channel it's the same as my instagram whitetail habitat solutions you know it's interesting a lot of people ask where do you showcase your hunts well a lot of my hunting footage and of deer walking by and where i talk about walking up to a deer are either on my instagram stories or reels where i try to show people this is what's happening in the field passing up lucky a couple times passing up box watching deer go by the water holes that I'm sitting on, the, the actual hunting structure and movement and everything that goes together, mock scrapes, deer coming in, hitting those. I put that all on my Instagram channel because it's quick, it's easy, do it with a vertical phone. You know, Dylan edits everything we do. I come up with the topics, he does sometimes, but I come up with the topics, how we're gonna frame these, the points, and then Dylan goes back to the editing room, puts it all together. And so um, that's, that's not the process for putting something quick out on social media. And so I can do that myself. And so that's what I do more on Instagram. Hope that makes sense. But on my website, which again is the same name, Whitetail Habitat Solutions, I have over 600 articles that I've written that are Whitetail articles on that site. And so they cover all these same areas and topics. I've been teaching the same things for years. A lot of these I originated, whether it was depth of cover, paralleling habitat features, perpendicular access to hunting locations. Those are all my thing and uh, what I wrote about why I wrote that in 2012. But they're all for free, and what I encourage you to do is if you're on YouTube, instead of in a comment saying, I have 80 acres in Mississippi, I wanna put in two acres of food plots, what should I plant? Go to the food plot playlist on the channel, which has over 200 videos, maybe 300 by now, and search through those topics and see which one applies to you. Do a search on YouTube and put in what should I plant in my property, and my videos typically come up in the top 10, top five, top three, a lot of times in top. And so it's easy to find my videos and what I'm talking about, but look at those playlists. We have Hunting Hills and Thermals, which is our next web class we have coming out. But we have a playlist of 20, 25 videos. I have public land videos there. We talk about public land. I've shot out close to 30 bucks on public land. I've hunted public land since the 80s. I consistently do so still. And a lot of those public land experiences and experiences I developed apply to what I do today. Uh, from public land. So that's why public land is so important to me. And that's why I started with the intro and conclusion for my first book in 2012. It's all for free. And we'll keep putting out that free content because if I'm not helping people, the business doesn't work. Everything's based on helping people. Whether you buy a book, you buy a web class, you hire us. If we're not helping you to 
an ever increasing degree as you spend more money, then what's it? What's the use? Volume wise, put out the most videos. So I found that's the best way to help people in general and general public. So I hope it helps you. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you viewing. But you can always search and find more. I encourage you to follow me on Instagram too, because that's where you get a lot of more of the nuts and bolts and pieces of what I'm doing on a daily basis. All free though, and it applies to public and private land. Number two, the books I have. I have a food plot book. Obviously, it only applies to private, but if you put if you look at the food plot and you just talk about food in general, do you relate to food on public land as they would on private land? No difference. So there's a lot of features in that food plot book that apply to public land hunting well is just how deer relate to food in general that'll help you but how to design your whitetail parcel meaning whitetail success by design mature buck success by design that's mostly relating to just hunting and hunting bucks in general all weather whitetails that's just relating to hunting deer and how you should hunt them so those four books they apply to public private land some more to public than other and private and then I also, my next book is, is I'm taking all the just private land specific out, rewriting all those chapters, organizing them into four different sections. There'll be a bigger book that comes out, but that's meant to help anybody who hunts whitetail. Public land, private land doesn't really matter. But the bottom line is out of 74 chapters from those four books, 54 or 50 right around there apply to both public and private land hunters. And so those are those books. We sell those for $24.95. Um, you have a kid's book, we sell for, I think it's $12.95. Put those in ebooks too, the first three books. So you can buy those collectively, save a little money and just download them on your device. The bottom line is those are not that expensive for you guys to get involved and help. And a lot of people are more visual so they can look at those. And, and then next we have the web classes. That really steps it up in information. And there are a lot of these, similar to a lot of these videos, they're not the same videos. We made them specifically for the web classes. So they're a little bit longer and more detailed. Like our Hunting Hills and Thermal Web class. Dylan, that's a lot more detailed, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> so Dylan's got to take uh, aerial drone footage and then HuntWise mapping footage and maps. And then in the field where we talked about it and whiteboard diagrams of the same thing and layer it all together. It's gotta be lots of fun, right Dylan? Oh yeah. So, it is fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, putting it together. I know Dylan likes that, like it's a big puzzle. So kind of cool when it's all together, like writing a book is a big puzzle too. But bottom line is those are a lot more expensive. Um, those are $3.99 to $4.99, $2.99 to $4.99. You save 20% off every subsequent purchase of web class. So if that makes sense, I'd buy the cheapest one first and then you get 20% off the most expensive ones. You can buy three at a time, that saves you about 24%. Um, but bottom line is, that, that is a really good tool for you, but it's not gonna apply to everybody. You know, most people can afford a book, but even if you don't, we have, you know, by the end of 2023, we'll have 1,300 videos and six hundred well, well, almost 2,000 free videos and articles you can learn from than the books and the web classes, of course, are a lot more of an investment. And of course, hiring us a site visit. You know, my schedule for 2023, I go to clients. It is Monday today. My first client trip always starts right before Christmas. So that would be Thursday. I go to seven clients in eight days right before Christmas. I'll go to five in January after the ATA. And then February through September, I go to nine clients in 10 days religiously in different states. Those are already set, the locations. I might have a few holes. I should have checked with Jesse before, but I believe that's 84 spots. If I do the math correctly, 89, 72. Yeah, anyways, something like that. I believe it's 84. And I believe I have all but 10 at the most, not set, you know, sprinkled throughout there, especially in the middle of the latter months. So my schedule is pretty full. Now, Dylan, he goes to clients. He's filling his schedule right now, but he's got a huge base of potential clients to draw from and, and contact and get a hold of. So I know uh, you're utilizing Jesse a little bit to help schedule too. Yep. So that'll go really efficiently. I know Jesse, last year I turned her loose in December. By end of January, she had all 85 clients scheduled for the year. So she's really efficient. So in one day, she scheduled August in Michigan in early January. And in one day, she called 10 people, had eight spots booked. And um, the two that she didn't book called her back that week and she didn't have a spot for him, but she books pretty quick. And, uh, and she's helping Dylan out. And then Joe and Kevin, Joe is out of the Michigan area, but he'll all, Dylan, Joe and Kevin fly to clients too, anywhere in the country. So Dylan likes doing that. I know he'll be down in Texas this year. Is there any other random spot? You're gonna be out Georgia. east maybe, Georgia? You, do some Georgia? you hitting out east at all, Maryland, Delaware? I'm not sure on that yet, um, but yeah, Pennsylvania, New York. Yeah, I don't know it depends on what comes Maryland. in. Yeah, 
But um, so those guys will fly to locations and their schedules will fill up really fast too. I know Joe, for example, um, Kevin's just waiting a little bit later to schedule. He's scheduling right now, but Joe, I believe has close to 50 spots already scheduled and he doesn't, he's probably, I would say 75% of the way booked. And so we get so many clients in and I'll tell you, Joe, Kevin, and Dylan, they're $29.50 a day and I'm $37.50 a day. And people start to say, you know, that's a ridiculous price to charge. Let me ask this first. Someone who would say that, if your boss wanted to give you a raise that seemed like too much, would you go back to his office and say, hey, you're really gonna pay me too much? If you're that person, then you can complain about how much we charge. You know, if you're that person would actually go back and say, I'm not worth that much. I don't want to be charged that much. I don't want to pay that much. I don't want you to pay me that much. My check's already nice how it is. Then you can complain in the comments below. But otherwise, this is something I've developed since 05, this business. Literally blood, sweat, and tears. And built it to this level over the last several years. It took, by the end of 2023, almost 2,000 pieces of free content. But it took 13, 1,400 parcels to experience that. It took 20 years of doing it on my own before I even started the business. Not even knowing I was going to start the business. It didn't take school. It took experience. Experience is by far the best teacher. Now, Dylan's worked with me since 2016. He's the first. He's the one that's had the most hands, hands on. And then Joe and Kevin. But bottom line is, there's a lot that went in to get us to this level. And, and the bottom line is, I'm not asking for your money. We do quite well as it is. I really appreciate you watching the free content. And I hope you appreciate it too. Really thank you guys for watching that, for reading it. We'll keep bringing it. We'll keep putting it out as I learn. I have a list in my phone right here that I go through. It's thousands of ideas. And every time, and it's, I've been doing that since 2014, I've carried that list forward. Literally, it's thousands of bullet point ideas that I go through try to check them off when I use them, I categorize them or, or put them together, date them, get them to Dylan so we have an order of videos. The bottom line is I've been doing that for years when I'm on client properties, hey, that'd be something we need to make a video of and I, I do it because we live this stuff every day. So it's easy to come up with good content that is different from something else. And I know they're, they're not, but you look at it like water holes. Water hole, there's a pie. And a lot of times somebody doesn't have a lot of experience with water holes and deer, they can make three water holes videos. So there's three pieces of the pie. If you know water holes, there's at least 50 pieces of the pie that you can do that are segmented a little bit different about deer water holes. And that's what we try to do with every category. I have over 50 mock scrape videos. So whether it's a water hole, mock scrape, food plots, there's all those pieces of the pie that we want to bring to you guys. And when I learn it, I like to bring it to you. So we bring a vast amount of experience probably that no one else has in the country. And I'm not saying that arrogantly, I'm just saying that's the reality of it. We go to a lot of clients, have for many years, we put out a lot of content, we take notes by in the field. Putting these videos together and, and organizing them takes a lot, writing books takes a lot, helps you. Why do you take notes in class? It's because you learn more when you're taking notes and you can review those notes later, which is exactly what we do, times thousands. And, and I like to bring it to you guys and really try to help you. And again, if you don't wanna buy anything books, web classes. We have seed for sale now, WHS seed blends. We sold a lot of seed last year in the first year. We're going to hit it hard about March, March 1st. We'll have about 11 or 12, 13 different seed varieties from clover, from annual and perennial mixes to various types of switchgrass, various types of brassica blends, screening. We'll have it all for you guys starting March 1st and that'll be full time uh, for that area of the business. And uh, we're doing that with all this experience to back it up for many, many years to try to help you. Again, you don't have to buy seed. You don't have to buy any of this stuff. We just really wanna help. Uh, hopefully it's helping you. I appreciate your comments down below because people will say, well, what about this? And I'll think, you know, that'd be a good video. Sometimes it's such a small category that it almost have to be a video just for that person, you know, because of the conditions. But I hope all this content helps you. We'll keep bringing it to you. You can just watch all the free stuff. You never have to buy anything. To those that do, really appreciate it. I enjoy and appreciate you being a part of the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't. We'll keep this information coming. We'll vary it, of course, if you're not familiar with the channel, we try to vary it to what's going on in January, February, March, April, May to keep you on track for your deer planning for the year. But at the same time, keeping things relevant, we're not going to talk about the rut in February. We're not going to talk about creating bedding areas in August. We're not going to talk about putting cameras out in January. We're looking at pieces of whitetail strategy and information that's relevant to the week that we are in throughout the entire year, times four videos a week, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, you know, the last time I missed one 
was the summer of 2019. It's been a long time, so we're really dedicated at that. Dylan and I have to sit and figure out sometimes a month and a half to two months in advance. I think, Dylan, you were saying March? If I can get through March, yeah. get it scheduled where we look at, we're filming these days. Dylan doesn't vary. I mean, unless there's an extreme emergency, we keep that because we have to, because my schedule is made through September for clients. His schedule will be made like that, Joe's, Kevin's. So if you're interested in any of us, and, and when it comes to consulting and going to your land, make sure you look at info at whitetailhabitatsolutions.com. Send out an email. Jesse fields all those emails. We get dozens a week of people just wanting us to help with, with their land. We can't, we can't help them unless we're actually going through some of these services right here or the free content. The comments, I try to answer about 10,000 comments a year. YouTube tells me I do I, that I really do so just in YouTube, let alone Instagram. So really try to help as many people out as possible. You can imagine that seven days a week, I'm on the phone answering your comments. Uh, rain or shine, sickness, holidays, family time, I'm on my phone, people know that. Uh, and, and I tell them it's for work. You know, I'm answering your comments because I really do wanna help out. So I hope it all does. How to design your property. Your small parcels, we have tons of resources for you to look at. I believe the number one collection of resources in the entire country, times 10. And, uh, and I hope it really helps you out this off season, next hunting season, and beyond. I urge everyone out there to really check out my web classes. They've been wildly successful. We have one that details how you should design your land, another one that details how you should plant and maintain and manage a food plot program. How can you make those decisions that fit your land specifically and not someone else's? Unfortunately, there's so much information in the hunting industry that says you should do this, but it doesn't apply to you. These web classes directly apply to you. And then we have our third web class that came out last year, rut web class, navigating the entire rut. And then we have our fourth one coming out, which is hunting hills and thermals. I urge you to check those out try the web classes and they're all about teaching helping you understand how you can navigate not only managing your property food plots in the rut but also hunting hunting strategically hills thermals and wherever you pursue whitetails for your dream and your passion